The foundation for our sustainable rule of law initiatives is there to establish sustainable mediation centers throughout the world where people can come for peaceful conflict resolution. We train judges, lawyers, and potential mediators so that they can understand that there is an alternative to litigating, to going to court, and to being more adversarial. The foundation addresses a need of getting to populations where there are underserved groups of people in either emerging democracies, uh, heavily populated areas that don't have access to a peaceful, timely, and effective dispute resolution system. The goal is really to see if we can unclog these backlog court systems where people, in essence, are being denied their opportunity to get access to justice. These mediations often act as therapy sessions, depending on the topic. And there was a husband and wife, they were dead set on separation. They were just there, sort of phoning it in, saying, let's just sign the paperwork. But the mediator could tell there were issues and dug a little bit deeper under the surface. And it turned out they were actually able to reach a resolution where they decided to try to work it out. One of the initial cases we had in India uh, was a case that came, had been around for 25 years. And it was the grandchildren 20 years later that were still litigating the case. And we resolved it in three sessions of two hours each in the mediation center. It's typical of the way that the mediation process really can work very, very successfully in a way that the courts can't. It really is a model for other companies of how to get involved and provide pro bono services or just provide charitable services, especially to organizations that are started by, by their own employees. In addition to money, there are, is another resource that's very important, and that's one of time. Uh, if we have people who are interested in contributing time, who are skilled in training on mediation, we will work with them to get them placed in the appropriate locations if they have the requisite skills and of course it's on a pro bono basis. It's people that are acting out of their heart and their passion and the third and last area is where people want to give administrative support as volunteers. I'm happy to say that my own firm, Fenwick and West, has been very supportive and very generous in helping us get started as a foundation. Uh, we are now very definitely independent in our operation as a uh, a C3 charitable foundation and we're looking to of course other firms and business organizations that will support our work. We have a world of decreasing resources, global in its scope, with an increasing amount of conflict between nations, between states, between people, between families and between communities. And I think mediation provides a vehicle in a peaceful and a timely way to address these disputes with a result that brings about a resolution uh, that can be long enduring and very, very effective.